Let's talk about possibly the biggest day in pop culture history. What's going on guys, I'm Chris and welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna be giving you guys my thoughts and honestly a breakdown of May 27th, 2022, a day that will certainly go down in the history books when it comes to movies, TV shows, and certain events happening in theme parks. But before I tell you guys all about this day and how excited I am for it, make sure to hit the like button, comment down below what you're most excited for on May 27th, and make sure to subscribe to that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos like this one. So May 27th of 2022 kickstarts Memorial Day weekend of this year. We're roughly two months out from this date occurring, and a lot of huge things are happening. I'll start with the TV side of things. We're getting the most anticipated show of the year and maybe of all time with Obi-Wan Kenobi hitting Disney Plus in a two episode premiere. This is huge because this show has been in the works for quite some time and it's also featuring the return of Ewan McGregor to a role that we never thought we would see him come back to play. Obviously he played Obi-Wan Kenobi in the prequel trilogy which ran from 1999 to 2005 and I never in my life thought we would see him come back for the role. But sure enough we're getting six episodes of Obi-Wan Kenobi this year and two of them are premiering on May 27th. I'm sure that second episode is going to leave us on a cliffhanger wanting more. I'll be staying up late to watch those episodes, bringing watch parties back for those, so that alone is enough to get my excitement up for May 27th. But the TV shows don't stop here. We're also getting the first half of Stranger Things Season 4 as Volume 1 of the show drops on May 27th. Now, they usually drop it all at once around 3 a.m., so we're going to be getting Obi-Wan Kenobi and Stranger Things 4 on the same date at the same time. Now, my plan right now is to watch the Obi-Wan Kenobi episodes right when they drop and do a watch party, do a little bit of content, and then binge the entirety of Stranger Things Season 4 Volume 1 in one sitting, because that's a show that I cannot afford to get spoiled for me. And I think they're going to be longer episodes as well, maybe even closer to like an hour and a half per episode. Every single one's going to be like a movie, and I think we're getting four to five episodes, and then the other half of season four is going to drop on July 1st. We haven't had a new season of Stranger Things since 2019, so we've been clamoring for another season of that show, and Obi-Wan Kenobi is a character we thought we would never see return in this form with Ewan McGregor, and even with Hayden Christensen coming back as well to play Darth Vader slash Anakin, there's a lot of hype in these two TV shows. And if I were to not even mention what I'm about to talk about, this would still be one of the greatest days in TV slash movie industry history because, again, Obi-Wan Kenobi was a movie character coming to the small screen now for TV, but we're getting the release of Top Gun Maverick, the long-anticipated, long-awaited sequel to the 1980s film Top Gun. A lot of people love this movie. It's got 80s cheese to the max. It's nostalgic for a ton of people, and it's one of Tom Cruise's most iconic roles, and he's coming back as Maverick in this sequel. We've gotten a few trailers. The movie's been delayed a few times now, and it's going to be exciting as hell to see this one on the big screen. I'm definitely going to try and see this one in IMAX because I want to see these fighter jets in action on the biggest screen possible, be as immersed into the movie as I can be, and hopefully have my seat shaking because Tom Cruise and fighter jets cinema. And the most recent trailer made this movie look electric. It's honestly one of my more anticipated summer blockbuster releases for right now. So as of right now, we're getting two of the biggest shows of the year. We're also getting one of the biggest movies of the summer, but we're also getting something really cool for a theme park. Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida has four theme parks. One of those theme parks is Epcot, and Epcot has a new Guardians of the Galaxy ride that has been under construction for the past few years called Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. And it's going to be one of the largest indoor coasters of all time. I think it actually could be the largest indoor coaster ever. I don't want to absolutely state that as a fact, but someone can check me and let me know in the comments down below. But this coaster has this new form of technology where essentially you're riding on the tracks in like a four person vehicle and it like spins as you're going. So you're looking at different set pieces. They also released a little trailer talking about the plot of the ride itself. And it looks like there's a base on Epcot right outside the Epcot ball. And it's being taken over by some threat. We're unaware of it. So a signal for help is sent out. And then we cut to the Guardians and their spaceship and Rocket receives the transmission. So Rocket tries to get Star-Lord's attention. He's knocked out cold. So what do they do? They said, well, time to save the galaxy again. And that kind of kickstarts the plot for this ride. It's no surprise Disney is very immersive with their plots. And I'm sure this is gonna be one of the coolest rides ever. But the reason I'm talking about it is its release date was officially announced today to be on May 27th the same day as Obi-Wan Kenobi, Stranger Things 4, and Top Gun 2. So not only are we getting fed from the movie and TV side of things, but one of the coolest rides of all time is opening in Walt Disney World. So theme park enthusiasts have something to rejoice about, and they can go watch Stranger Things, Obi-Wan, and Top Gun 2 after they ride the ride if they're in Orlando that day. Now, I can't imagine the hectic crowds at Epcot that day, because when rides open, it's insanity. I remember when Rise of the Resistance opened, I heard reports of like eight-hour wait times. The same goes for Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure at Universal 
little Islands of Adventure, which is in Orlando as well. I heard there was like an eight hour wait to try and get on this ride, but a Guardians of the Galaxy ride is gonna draw out the Marvel crowd, just people in general who wanna see the next big thing. And a lot of hardcore Disney fans are gonna be making trips down there anyway, because Memorial Day weekend is a time for people to go to the parks and go on vacation. I won't be going to Disney World anytime relatively soon. Hopefully I can get there by the end of the year and maybe check out Epcot's new ride. I also wanna ride the Ratatouille ride, which is in Epcot, and I haven't got the chance to do that yet. So I could kind of kill two birds with one stone if I make a trip to Epcot sometime. So May 27th is a day for the history books as we're getting two of the biggest shows of the year, one of the most anticipated sequels and summer blockbusters of the year, and also a new epic ride is opening in Walt Disney World. And again, this is kind of a really cool way to kickstart the summer season for movies, TV, and just vacation vibes in general. What do you guys think of this day? What are you most anticipated to see or possibly go ride out of everything that I just talked about? Definitely let me know in the comments down below and make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future coverage of these products that I was just talking about. If I end up getting the opportunity to go down to Epcot and ride that ride, you already know I'll have a vlog out for it and I'll have reviews and spoiler reviews for all the projects that I just mentioned. I also wanted to make an announcement. It's tragic. I'm about to have to pause. It's tragic that this is taking so long. I am making my return to Twitch streams as Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga comes out tomorrow, and I'll be Twitch streaming that at 5 p.m. Eastern. You can follow me on Twitch at Filmstocked. Lego Star Wars is my bread and butter. I had a blast playing the complete saga on Twitch in the fall, and this is the next big thing for Lego. Twitch streams are coming back. I also have a Patreon. You can click the link down below and check it out. I'm running a giveaway. If you become a Patreon member at any phase, one, two, or three, you'll be entered into a Blu-ray bundle giveaway with the opportunity to win five Blu-rays. You'll also get a one-on-one -on -one call with me, so check that out in the link down below if you want to go the extra mile and support the channel. Also get more content. But thank you guys again for watching. I greatly appreciate the support. Hope you have a wonderful week, and until next time, I'll see you guys later.